Hi, welcome or welcome back if you've been here before. I have started or have recorded this four times now and um, hopefully this time is the last one because I've had technical difficulties, I've forgotten to hit the record button, I have spilled my coffee, that's why I have a new one. Anyway, so yeah. Today I want to talk to you about my 2022 lineup and uh, what I want to use next year. It might look a bit much, but it is actually a lot less than last year or there's several things that I have removed because I included them in here or those are replacing things that I've used this year, so I will be talking more about that when I come to it. Now, this one, as you might have already seen in my Amazon haul, is my Hobonichi Weeks, which I will be setting up in a um, future video or at least talking about how I set it up. I have not yet decided if I want to if I want to use this in December or at the start of next year since I haven't yet um, decided for certain if I want to use my Nolte uh, until the end of the year. But I will be setting this up. This is I've just added like some decor stuff on the outside uh, but that's pretty much it. Now, next thing I have is probably something very, very simple. You've seen it. It's my five year journal. It will be just lying on my bedside table and every evening, hopefully, <laughs> I will be uh, just writing a few lines. Uh, what happened during the day and this is the reason why I will not be using this one. This is I've I've used this to record uh, trips or fun things I've done with my husband but since I will be using this and it will be in there anyway I'm, I'm thinking uh, I don't want to um, have to double journal basically so uh, it will be in here. This one, um, you haven't seen before, it, this small thing will be replacing my astrological uh, The Magic of Eye planner for this year. I, um, I have it in a box because I haven't used it actually in uh, like at least two months. Um, but it was too small and I needed something bigger but I did not want to pay for the bigger A5 version of the Magic of Eye Planner since um, it was a bit pricey for me it was like 50 euros shipping included and this this one was just 12 so yeah I, I went with this one and it's a um, a diary by Grupo Eric or something I, I don't know um, it's just a daily diary you can change the uh, if you want you can change the cover and just put something else in there or flip this but I'm not going to it has like the start page and um, um, Every week in a line, like all the weeks of the year, which is something I haven't seen before. I'm not sure I will be using this. Um, and then it has also obviously the months all together um, at the start. I will be using this for astrological stuff and moon phases and marking when I've... Uh, done a journal entry and stuff like that and then you have the days every day of the year on one page it has like a slight uh, grid 
the paper is not not the best <gasps> i have to say i think i've done a pen test somewhere in the back it just yeah um that's it, it did bleed a bit and um ghost some pants or some inks i might say but not everyone so i'm fine with it it, it was it was very cheap and it looks nice and I'm I'm okay with that and I will be using this as a dream journal or for my rituals or whatever whatever spiritual stuff uh, this will be just on my nightstand like this so I can just note stuff down if I need to and um, like I said it's uh, every day of the year and um, it, at the end you have two pages of stickers um which i don't know how it will be using but they are there so that's nice and there's a pocket here and the last picture and um, the back cover which is like a like a plastic so yeah it's just a simple uh, spiral bound uh it's um what is this called uh, o o spiral spiral o uh, whatever um you can see it <laughs> it's 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 very cute they have a lot of designs this um eric thing i just bought it on amazon there's there's a lot of designs but i like this one the best with the quotes and the pictures uh and the japanese motif i i, I picked this one for this year now that uh, as I said will be replacing my uh, astro planner and um, then I have I have this this is not really a planner um, it's a notebook for where I just note down things that I want to mm, spiritual things <laughs> just like um stuff i haven't decided about yet how i want them to go or rituals i haven't um decided on um yet that i've read myself and things like that it's it's very pretty it's just a paper blanks um journal it's it has a metal clasp and um it's blank they come in lined versions but i wanted the blank one because i have a lot of like drawings that i have to include so yeah also um about my personal planner this one will be um this one will be including these two uh, like my cycle log and my exercise log I will be not be using these anymore since I will be including them in this uh, in the back pages now the last thing which will be replacing um, let me just this <laughs> it's a uh, it's a, a magnetic um, calendar with sticky notes it was on our fridge it was just for me and my husband for like household things and as you can see we haven't been using this in November a lot so I will be replacing it with this it says family timer but uh, I will be using this as a household planner basically uh, it's entirely in German um so most people will not be um interested in this there's a lot of there's a lot of extra pages that are mostly for families with kids and stuff but some i will be using myself like the contacts and emergency info and notes pages and stuff like that um i will be using this for a household stuff in the months i will be um writing down our expenses groceries 
gas, bills, utilities, and stuff like that. That's why I don't need a um, budget tracker anymore in here. Since in here I will be only uh, tracking some extra stuff. And mostly the budget will be in here. Uh, also birthdays, uh, reminders. And in the uh, weekly view, it has four columns. Y usually you could just use it for four people and write the names on the cover there. So you don't have to write them every time you flip the page. But I will be using the big column for appointments or events that um, are for both of us or just for my husband since he doesn't have a planner or calendar and um, that way he will be able to see stuff like that. There's also a, a meal plan and a list and the other uh, columns I will be using for my daily cleaning schedule for my weekly cleaning schedule uh, where I have uh, every day of the week a different thing I have to do the, and the last one I'm not sure yet maybe I will note down my monthly cleaning or my seasonal cleaning or appointments for the pets I, I'm not sure yet and I have my my monthlies and my seasonals I have already pre-written on a um, notepad uh, that's just to-do lists and I will be uh, including them every month uh, and um, yeah I will be using those to check off what I've done and as you can see it continues until the end of the year every week with little infos and the vitamin of the week which is nice I guess um, the notes pages I will be using for a list that I call my um, adulting list. It's just reference for things uh, that we might want to know, like uh, say when when did we last change the oil in the car, or um, when did we clean the gutters last time. I will just note down the thing and when we did it so I have a uh, point of reference when I need it and in the uh, yearly overview I will be just noting down the trash collection which I don't have yet since we're not yet in this new house still anyway uh, so yeah that is my household planner I I'm not, I don't think I will be uh, blinking this one since it's in German and most people that watch me are not, so they will be not uh, wanting to use this. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much my complete um, lineup. Um, I, I, I'm very looking forward to using this. I've already... Um, I've already pre-planned how I will be using this in uh, my iPad. Uh, I know some people will print the pages and write on them how they want to, them to look and stuff. Uh, but I am just using a picture of it and uh, loading it on my iPad. This is the Procreate app if you're wondering. And I'm just... Um, making my layout how I, I want it I don't have to erase stuff I can just delete it and do it uh, new so I have a reference point when I start my uh, planner how I want it yeah that's about it I the I will be still using my K here for the writing since I have three of those and I, I don't want to waste them I will still be using those but otherwise this is pretty much all I will be using next year and it's it's actually a lot less I don't have an extra journal since I will be using the uh, back pages of the Hubonichi for um, daily journaling uh, or semi-daily uh, like <laughs> 
as often as I need to. I will be just be writing a day out and then putting a line there and starting it the next day that I want to journal. And it's easier for me than um, having an extra journal. Um, I mean, I do have an extra journal. This one, this five-year thing. But this, this is different. It's just a few lines. Um, so yeah, I hope you like this and I have given you maybe some ideas about uh, how to organize things. I don't know. It's, it's probably, yeah, it's probably useless, but, but if you liked it, I'm glad and I hope to see you next time on my channel when I will be setting up this little guy. Bye.